Well, that can reach the lantern, but it won't grab hold. I've got it. Hey, what happened to the light? I don't want to get caught up in a conversation with Murray right now. Murray, do your stuff. Okay. Ah! Mortal fool, release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered furniture. And never more will you be able to find socks that match. All right, hang on. I'm coming. Great work, Murray. I... I was terrifying, wasn't I? My demonic powers have made me omnipotent! <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like the lantern ran out of oil. It's open. Now shuffle off and give me peace. And it's useless now that it's out of oil. Mutual of Stan. Hey, hey, Guybrush. There sure are a lot of skeletons in here. Uh-oh. Quick, pull the head off one and stick me on top of the spine! I don't think I want you walking around freely, Murray. Oh, please! I'm getting out of here. Well, Murray, are you ready to continue our heady adventuring? Murray? Where'd he go? You've convinced me. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you can afford to buy an insurance policy, it's whether you can afford not to. Speaking of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend, all sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. If you can't at least show me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. How about an enormous uncursed diamond? How about that? Do you have an enormous uncursed diamond? Okay, no. But I'm like this close to getting one. Well, I'm this close to believing that you're trying to take advantage of my generosity. Maybe you'd like to make me a serious offer, hmm? This one-of-a-kind Big Whoop refrigerator magnet. Very collectible. Surely you're joking. This authentic pirate relic. A genuine tooth from an actual pirate. Only one of its kind. Is that real gold? The finest known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. Now you're starting to speak my language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. And you can rest assured that you've provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow. Wow is right. Now I want you to be careful out there. Okay, I will. Thanks. No, I'm serious. I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. Thank you.
I'm cashing in this insurance policy. Give me a lot of money. But this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. No, honest. I was dead for a really long time. And you just got better? Well, yes. Do you have any proof of this miracle? As a matter of fact, smart guy, no. Then it appears that you're just wasting my time. Run along and play now. I'm trying to run a business here. Hey, what an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Who wants to hear about it? Eh, you guys don't deserve to hear a good story. This hereby certifies that hearty beef and potato good soup met his demise at least once on Blood Island. Wow, I'll bet his room charges are pretty hefty by now. I can see the good soup crypt from here. Charles, it has. It has. You look so different. Really? Why, you look exactly the same. Oh, Charles, how you flatter me. Oh, but you must go now. But why? Now that I've found you again after all these years. What would our families say if they knew we were alone together on such a romantic night? Minnie, this may sound rash, but I... I love you, Minnie Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Minnie, and I always will. Come away with me now. Hello? Oh, but Charles, it just isn't done. Think of the scandal it would cause. To heck with the scandal, Minnie. Oh. Marry me. Oh, yes, Charles, yes. A thousand times, yes! Then kiss me, my love. Then scour the seas, you ossified rats! Hunt them down, then bring them to me. Find me Guybrush Drinkwood. It's with him that you'll find Elaine. Burn down every island in the Caribbean if you have to. 
But bring me my bride! And more slaw! Curse those villains! They never give you enough slaw with these value meals! <laughs> 